What's going on guys? This is JT here. What I'm going to be talking about in this video is a very fun, free-to-play friendly, insane dungeon challenge that my good friend Poke came up with. If you guys don't know who Poke is, he's a top uh, top ranked iOS player who is also a Castle Clash YouTuber that just loves helping people out. So if you're not subscribed to him, go ahead and subscribe. I'll link the video talking about this challenge uh, in the card above. So make sure to click that to subscribe to him. Now let's go ahead and get into the details of this free-to-play play insane dungeon challenge it's going to be a lot of fun you get, if you're a youtuber you can start up and join us with this challenge as well anybody's welcome no doubt so the rules are simple the rules are this you're allowed to use five total heroes for right now anything that came out between heartbreaker or before so i'll go ahead and tell you guys my five heroes i'm going to be using michael let's see michael dread drake i'm also going to be using cupid Cupid, Pumpkin Duke, and Druid. Those are the five heroes that I'm going to start out with. So let's go ahead and open those bad boys up now. Obviously, I had to make room in my altar on my main account um, for this challenge, but well worth it, no doubt. So we're going to use Dread Drake. Now, once I have all these heroes opened up, I'm now going to record myself getting talents for these heroes. The way talents are going to work is each person that joins the challenge is going to be allowed to roll 30 total talent refresh rolls. So you're going to have to choose like which talent you want to go with right within those talents. So let's see. We got Cupid. Who else do I have to open up? I got Druid. Oh, yeah. Pumpkin, Duke, and Druid. All right. Yeah. So Pumpkin, Duke, and where you at, Druid? And Druid. All right. Nice. So we got all five of our heroes opened up. Let's go ahead and get in. You're also not allowed to evolve these heroes. You're, you, they have to be single Evo and not only do they have to... Oh, look at Cupid. Born with Sacred Light. That's kind of interesting. So you're allowed to not evolve them, but you can get them to 10-star. Um, yeah, you can 10-star, non-evolved. And as far as like the skill, you can't just get them all to 10 of 10, right? Because we're going to talk about free-to-play. It's got to be an average of a total skill of 7. So if I were to get my Druid to, let's say, 9 of 10, another hero would have to be 5 of 10, right? To even it out at 7 of 10. So let's see, what do we got? We got Scatter on Druid, level one Sacred Light on Cupid, level one Flame Guard on Dread Drake, level one, oh man, everything's level one. All right, so we got 30 talent refresh cards. Let me see, how many do I have right now? 199, so I need to stop at 169. Come on, please give me something good for this. One of eight Life Drain, that actually might be used. I'll go ahead and toss that on my Pumpkin Duke. Let's keep going. Two of eight revive. That could definitely be useful. I'm not even sure. I don't think we're allowed to actually use crest yet. I'll have to check Poke's video, but I know we're allowed to inscribe the heroes to 80 as well. You got to stop once they get to 80. So let's see. Revive. Hmm. I guess we can put revive on Michael. Is Michael the right choice? The revive could be pretty big here. Cupid or Michael? Yeah, we'll go with Michael. Michael could be solid with revive. All right, one of eight scatter, don't want it. One of five revitalize, I'll put that on Cupid just for right now. Uh, yeah, I'll put that on Cupid. Let's keep going. Two of eight stone skin. Mm, I'll go ahead and throw that on the Druid for right now. Let's see, one of eight empower. That is interesting. Where do we want the empower, boys? Do we want empower on Pumpkin Duke? One of eight? I mean, how much? Five energy per second. I think I might rather have that low life drain. Hmm. Red Drake, I mean, Flame Guard, I don't even know. One of the eight Empower, is it really going to be that helpful? Probably not. I think I'll just skip over the one of eight Empower. One of eight Heavy Blow, useless. Three of five Condemnation, no thank you. Two of five Revite, okay, now we're talking, boys. Two of five Revite, um, hmm. I suppose we'll put that on Cupid, right? Because if I get higher than two of five, I'm probably going to go Pumpkin Duke, honestly. How many more talents do I have to roll? I'm stopping at, yeah, 69. All right, so we got one of eight Deadly Strike. Ooh, five of five Corrode? Five of five Corrode? I mean, I guess I'll put that right here just for now. I don't really know if I want to keep Corrode for dungeons, but five of five, that's kind of crazy talk. One of eight Flame Guard, one of eight Stone Skin. Come on. One of eight War God, don't really care. One of eight Zerk, man. I guess I'll put the one of eight Zerk here. And that ain't really going to be a help. Has an 8% chance to deflect 100% damage. Hmm. Nah, I think I got to keep that. I don't know. I kind of want to. I kind of want to revive on my freaking. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the Druid because one of eight Zerk does absolutely nothing. 
All right, let's keep going. We only got like 10 more. One of five revite, useless. Five of eight life drain? Oh, baby. Uh, hmm. Should I go with Pumpkin Duke or should I go with Dreddrake? I mean, it'd be greedy not to go with Pumpkin Duke, right? Just because, yeah, we got to go with Pumpkin Duke here. We only got like five more talent rolls, so. Or ten more. Two of eight Enlightened, that's useless. One of eight Stone Skin, one of eight Bulwark, one of eight Flame Guard, two of eight Self Destruct, one of eight Stone Skin, one of eight Zerk, one of five Revite, four of eight Slowdown. Yeah, I don't think I need Slowdown. I think I'm pretty much good on that. So, last talent roll, what's it gonna be? It is. One of eight self-destruct. All right, so here's the team. We got a druid. Obviously, I'm not going to do this on video, but after my video, I'm going to get my druid probably to... I'm thinking my druid's probably going to be either four or five of ten because I don't want to use too many resources on my druid, but I'm going to get druid to four or five of ten. Obviously, get him to ten star as well. Cupid, I'm thinking I'm probably going to get to eight of ten and obviously inscribe him up. Dread Drake, I'm not exactly sure. Probably 5 of 10 or maybe 6 of 10. Pumpkin Duke, I know I'm definitely going to go straight to 9 of 10 with Pumpkin Duke and then just even it out elsewhere. And wait, how is my Michael level? Wait, what? Oh, he's already level 3? Oh, that's interesting. I forgot about that. Yeah, I got to remind myself about that. These guys are already level 3 because of Destiny. I was like, wait, what? I haven't even done anything to these heroes. He's level 3? That's right. It's because of Destiny. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so the Destiny already plays a factor in, which is definitely going to give me extra bonuses on these, but it's still going to be what it is. There's nothing I can do about that, right? That's kind of crazy. Yeah, so that's that. I don't think there's any other details that I need to inform you guys about. You guys know the challenge. I'm just going to level these heroes up, inscribe them as well, and then start right here on, yeah, Insane 1, this dungeon. So if you guys want to join, any YouTuber is welcome. There is no cheating at all. So once you create your team, you got to go with that. And that's that. We poke, uh, I'll leave a link and a video to Poke's channel if you guys want to check it out. And he's going to update us with the details there with uh, whatever updates are on this challenge. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas.